Uh, Eric, the actor, you're on the air. I haven't heard from you in a while. First, before I get to what I was calling for, the thing that you were saying about Linda McMahon, you said that she, they said that she created 600 jobs. Give me a break. Not all 600 jobs have to be shaved in bikinis and all that. All right, all right. Eric, we know. Oh. Eric, these are just like sort of things to make people laugh. Here he I'm goes, not, yeah. making sense. Yeah, don't try to make sense out of anything we say. You know, Eric has, like, no sense of humor, by the no. way. No. We know and, that all the jobs aren't about guys in bikinis getting shaved. Believe me, and the audience knows. Those guys aren't even in Connecticut. Yeah, my job is to make people smile. And then the other thing. <laughs> Claire, yeah, I, I have else. to explain the show to him. Yes, what is it? <laughs> yesterday, Gary made a severe mistake. For somebody that is supposedly has a 121 IQ, he's an idiot. Well, okay, go ahead. Give me well, an example. Well, give us an example. Debbie's Twitter account does not have more followers than mine. It wasn't the Twitter account. It was um it was your um web page? I guess your your yeah, you know. It was the JFS. Well, okay. JFSC. Okay, okay, then technically he's right because I don't have a. Apologize to me. Apologize. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't, well, you're only right by default because I don't well, you're have... Wrong, but you're Twitter. wrong because you don't know the difference between Twitter and... No, because Eric's saying he's not on JFSC anymore. So it's not really his page. He does have you on a technicality. I mean, who knows what he does? Like, he, I, he didn't call me and say, I'm no longer on JFSC. We didn't know that. Who well, even I cared? I said that months ago that Johnny and I fired the guy. All right. Hey, Eric. Thanks for the call. I'm complaining midget. <laughs> Can you finally fucking play my TNA video? What? Oh, please, Eric. It's so bad. I'm going to be fired for not for you not getting the attention to the video. Do you hear what's going on? Eric got this, this gig where he calls into some show about TNA wrestling. Right. And obviously they hired Eric. To get exposure. Yeah, because he, they know we talk about it here on the air. Yeah. So I've purposely been ignoring Eric because I've heard these TNA clips <laughs> and they're just insufferably Awful. dull and like I, there's nothing even to make fun of. It's so bad. It's so bad that it's like bad to even listen to them. <laughs> and so I, I, it'll, it'll hurt us. <laughs> I've chosen not to expose my audience to Eric's unbelievable appearances on TNA. And then he has the okay, nerve then, to call me then, and goes, I'm going to get fired if you don't play the clips. Then maybe. You should be fired. <laughs> and maybe they won't expose North Shore to any money if I win. Oh, please. Uh -huh. oh, if you start that again, Eric, that's just, if that, makes you look, that makes you look like an idiot. First of all, how much money have you donated to North Shore Animal League? $5? No. How much? 50 was the last. All right, 50 that so you one take, you take it away there, $50. As much as I appreciate that, and I told you, my wife even wrote you a letter. But, you know, I don't threaten little innocent animals that are going to be, you know, dead. But by saying, if you don't play my, my stupid TNA thing, I'm not donating to North Shore Animal League. Don't donate. He's strong-arming you. What am I going to do? Using I'll, the puppies. This Christmas, I'll donate an extra 50. It's to make up for your 50, you're not going <laughs> to donate. Well, I'm quite sure if I won that TNA was going to donate a whole lot more than no, $50. No, whatever. Well, win on your own. I'm not going to be blackmailed into pay but is there one clip I can play? Uh <coughs> I I was I've been pushing for this one. I think it's funny when the wrestler yells at Eric. All right, uh, I'll play that. JD1 in white. <laughs> All right, Eric, here's one of your clips. <laughs> I can't wait to see your big donation to North Shore <laughs> Animal League. <laughs> Here we go. Going to be out of their money. By the way, this show <laughs> is so bad. It's like a show on the internet about TNA wrestling. And Eric was hired to be a part of it. And Eric, they don't even show him on camera because I think it depresses people too much. <laughs> right. And they can't yell at him if they show him. Yeah, but when, once you see Eric on camera, there's no wrestler, yeah. I don't even care if he plays the bad guy, is going to yell at Eric. I mean, it's <laughs> the only reason I'm able to be so tough with Eric is because I'm not looking at him. <laughs> if I had to look at him right now, I would just melt. Well, that was oh. the thing. We used to look at him on screen all the time. Right. And you they couldn't say a bad word. No, it's it's heartbreaking. <laughs> they actually were looking at me. They just didn't have 
their cameras set up where it would record me. But exactly. Exactly. Right. Nobody can see who they're yelling. The, the audience can't see how you know heartbreaking you are. <laughs> All right, so here's Eric again with that, that way he speaks, you know, that broken sort of gasping speech pattern. <laughs> like when he talks, you, you have to sit there suffering like through it. Like when he said that Gary made a severe mistake. Yeah, that's all I hear. I, I hear Fred's impression when I listen to her. It's like... I missed the sun, and I was just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're just playing. Gary made a veer. <laughs> All right, here's Eric the actor. One match you did get right, Eric, was the street fight between Bobby Roode and the cowboy James Storm. You picked that one correctly. Yes, I did, but also uh, Mike Tanay picked Storm to win, too. But do you remember uh, remember what you wanted to see at the end of that? Yeah, and that didn't happen because Rude rushed himself out of the, the what, arena. Well, now, what, now, right before we came on the air, what was the term that you used? To me about Bobby Roode. I mean, is anybody still listening to this? Um, this is awful. Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> I said that he, he hurried his chicken ass out of the arena. I thought he oh, said. You might want to, maybe not the right. Yeah, he hurried. And now, and now everyone's got to now fake, like, uh-oh, Bobby Roode just walked <laughs> in the Bobby room. Bobby Roode heard what you said. Bobby Roode heard Eric, and now we're going to pretend that he's really mad at Eric when he's like, oh, my God, thank God I'm not Eric. <laughs> Bobby Roode's like, I vey, how can it's I yell? It's okay, Eric, call me whatever you want. Bobby Roode's in the back room going, you're not going to show what this guy looks like, I hope, on camera when he I'm He has to go to a dark place to <laughs> yell at him. But poor Bobby Roode. <laughs> the hardest assignment of his Bobby Roode career. Chicken ass. I, I, heard, I heard what? Bobby Roode is here, Eric. Eric, where are you right now? Sacramento. That's a surprise. Why don't you ever show your face around me, huh? <laughs> because you wouldn't you be yelling at him like this. <laughs> no, because he's stuck in a chair and can't get there. <laughs> yeah, you should have just said, because I'm a club fucking footed asshole. <laughs> <laughs> did you like the match? Did you like the, did you like the, did you watch the pay-per-view, Eric? Did yes, you watch I did. it? Yes or no? Did you watch the pay-per-view? Look at this poor guy trying to work uh, a scene yeah, with Eric. trying to work into something here. Bobby Roode left wrestling after that. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby so much hard work. He got a job at a bank. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, I did. Okay, what, what was your favorite match? I'd say watch and Storm beat you. Oh, uh, watch like... and Storm beat me. Did I, uh, look at me, Eric. I'm still standing. I'm still here. I heard, I heard you say that I got my ass handed to me. Did you say that earlier this week that I got my ass handed to me? Watch it for me, you. Is that? And Eric starts talking, and Bobby Roode can't even hear him. Bobby Roode probably goes home. He probably takes a big shot of some whiskey, and he goes, "What the fuck?" I'm, He's I'm, on I'm, heroin at this I'm, point. I'm, I'm, He's like, I'm, just. Shoot me up. I'm, I'm, I'm arguing with a cripple. <laughs> <laughs> My life's not worth living. The guy's the size of a mushroom. I'm arguing with him. I, what kind of human being am I? And terrible at improv. <laughs> right. The, the, the improv. <laughs> 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 all right, Fred. I'll be Bobby Roode. You be Eric. All right, I'm in. Hey, Eric. What was your favorite match of the night? Right, what card? Come on, wait, wait, what? Did you watch the pay per view? You gotta ask that five times. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck you, man! Why don't you ever come down? To the match. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yes. And now you're sitting in Sacramento, hiding, hiding, the chicken shit that you are. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come down and fight Bobby Roode <laughs> in your wheelchair? Yeah, you got a big mouth in Sacramento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you imagine if Eric wheeled in there and Bobby Roode would be like, oh, I'm so Come on, Bobby Roode. Oh, my God, I'm going to hell. God is going to punish me for this. <laughs> Body slamming. <laughs> Bobby Roode should pick up that chair and throw Eric out a window. <laughs> hey. I would buy that pay-per-view. You want to be a man, Eric? Man up! 
Right. I'm here every week. You know where you He's challenging a guy in a wheelchair yeah, to a fight. Why haven't you taken up that challenge, Eric? And Eric's just quiet, you know. <laughs> just to say, I'm in a wheelchair. Why don't they make you a wrestler? That would be great, Eric. Mm. Like you wheel in in your underpants. <laughs> 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 What? Well, I have been thinking about not challenging him myself, but saying to him and one other guy I was arguing with on Twitter that works for TNA to take the challenge of taking on two guys that I find. Uh, uh, that's, that's no fun. Nah. Mm -hmm. He wants to see you. Why? What if they let you have your? What if? They, listen to me. Cut the bullshit. What if your wheelchair could have special weapons? Like, like, literally, like little rockets that fire out and attack. Like the James Bond car. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> like the thing that comes out of the wheel and cuts the tires. <laughs> cut people <laughs> like. I'll cut you down. <laughs> Look for Skyfall. What? <laughs> Look for Skyfall. Uh, Open Friday. Find me? I'm still standing. I, I mean, that's ridiculous. Oh, shut up, JB. No, 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 no. I heard you're good friends with, with RVD now. You guys are tweeting each other, huh? You're following RVD? Are you following yes. RVD on Twitter? Great. You know what? Why don't you follow me? Why don't you follow my foot up your ass, you stupid son of a bitch? <laughs> you better hope I don't ever see you. you oh, you better hope you never see him. Yeah, you'll be so sorry. That <laughs> You're going to feel like a real idiot. <laughs> That poor Eric Root. I hope they gave him double his salary. He's got to <laughs> yell at a cripple in a in a, in a, in a, in a, in a wheelchair who's the size of a, a grape. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's yelling at a guy whose hands are like plums. It's ridiculous. Eric, the whole premise is completely ridiculous. So when you took this job, you took it in the with the idea that you could get them big promotion. I took it. To, to be able to work with Jeremy, to be able to work in, in some capacity in that company, and to possibly earn some money for North or Animal Week. <laughs> no. Yeah, but now you're telling us you could get fired if you if it's not mentioned on, on yeah. our show. Well, yeah, it's a lot cheaper to pay Eric than to buy a commercial on our show. <laughs> Amy? What happened? What would happen? What would you yeah, possibly yeah. do? To I would punt you thirty <laughs> yards out of your chair. Is what I would do. Wow! Oh, that's good. <gasps> See, now that's I'd something he that. could do with Eric. Imagine he sees Eric. He takes him, rips him out of the chair, and punts him over. <laughs> <laughs> right through some goalposts. Uh. <laughs> Don't ever, ever, ever get in my way, Eric. I'm telling you right now. Stay in Sacramento, and you better hope to God. Then I never come there because I'll find you. <laughs> Stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> and this poor guy, it, like he needs someone to argue with him. Yeah, and there's no comeback. Yeah, yeah, like, it's just some guy on, on <laughs> some weird line. No, <laughs> they edited my comebacks out. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah, that, exchange, that exchange was longer, and I hit him with some pretty good. Come back. No, okay. oh, so it was more boring <laughs> yeah, than it yeah. is now. Yeah. So you mean they took out all the excitement <laughs> and edited you out? <laughs> you know that if they edited it, Eric must have been awful in the fight. <laughs> oh. yeah. they'd, they'd rather have long pauses than hear him. No. <laughs> well, you really did it this time, kid. Who did it, Eric Root? Yeah. Eric. Yeah. 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 Eric went too far. <laughs> he, he refers. To himself is the it factor. I All right. I, I've heard enough of the rest. I don't care about it. I don't it. want to get wrapped up factor. in your world. I'm the ick factor. <laughs> what was your comeback? I called him the shit factor. Oh. Got him they took that out? Why would they take that out? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But I was also kind of hoping you'd play the exchange between myself and ODB because if I do win the picks, on this pay-per-view, not only does North Shore... Or all right, all right. I, I, I'm zoning, I'm zoning, I'm zoning. I, I, got, I don't have the ability to edit you. 
By the way, the people from Cougar Town, just so you know, have already contacted Ronnie. <laughs> I don't think anyone's called for Eric. I think they just saw him as too much trouble. Am I correct in that, Eric? I guess so. Yeah. We knew that Ronnie got the job. Uh-oh. There well, here's Ronnie. Ronnie, when are you going to go out and shoot uh, Cougar Town, since you seem to be getting Eric's acting work? No, I was just curious if they got in touch with him, because no. I've been in touch with them, they've been in touch with me. No, and, no uh, they're not looking for that. I'm going out there December 16th. <laughs> i got to be honest with you, though. I would love to see Eric in Cougar Town. Yeah, it's much more fun to have Eric on a set. Well, yeah, they, they fly me out, put me in this first-class hotel, limo yeah. service, the whole deal. So you're going to appreciate yeah. everything. Right? Yeah, the, the problem yeah, it's is, be great. Yeah, you, you'll probably do just fine. It's <laughs> funny when Eric's on these shows. Yeah, I'm going to be out there for three days, Eric, shooting. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. Dece- in December 16th. Do you know your part yet? Just come hang out. Do you know your role? No, not no, yet. All right. You not don't yet. care what it is. No. Eric would have had that job, except he was being he too He wouldn't picky. do anything. I heard something about like being a fire hydrant, maybe, or something. You're going to be a fire hydrant? Yeah, I don't know. All right, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ask them for two liters of Pepsi when yeah, you go out right, there. All right, exactly. All right, thank you, Ronnie. Ronnie, uh, by the way, Ronnie did vote. Did you? Uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, appreciate it. Bye-bye.